made an attempt at a Hacky Day logo. Oh, that's outstanding. I only, had, I only had eight pixels. Yeah, eight pixels <laughs> eight pixel size. Uh, well, um, we're we're, uh, we're hacking our board to get it to work. <laughs> nice. Uh, with yeah, our... We're with Freescale engineers hacking the. <laughs> Freescale engineers working on the embed, working on working on embed, <laughs> yeah. trying to get the freedom board going. Yeah. Okay, and then I just touched the touchpad. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Yeah, right now what I am doing because of the internet library not working right now, I'm getting a serial and my idea would be uh, with Node.js to put it into Shibboleth. So I was trying to use, just uh, attach some, uh, some serial port code and I noticed nothing was working. So I wrote a simple program. Uh -huh. Whatever you get in, send right back. Right. Loop it back. Didn't work on here. Oscar took the same code, loaded it, and it works on this machine. Uh, I was actually a little bit close to, to being like, oh, we'll just use our K60 hardware. Had a little bit of trouble with the Sager tools, but we worked that all out uh, using like the cutting edge uh, Sager piece drivers. Uh, my name's Eli Hughes, and uh, I am making an internet of a thing. <laughs> so the contest said uh, to uh, uh, take a uh, K64, the brand new Freedom Board, and uh, do something uh, regarding the Internet of Things. So, uh, being literal, I got a thing, uh, thing from the Adams family. Um, I have a Wi-Fi module here. I have a board, so I'm making Internet of a thing. <laughs> so, uh, all right. So, what's the system? So, give us a give us a lowdown on the system, right? So, the, the system. Um, I found the uh, the Phantasma Toys. Uh, walking thing hand, robotic hand on new egg. So I immediately saw it and said, this is it. Tore it apart the controller. Um, kind of had to decode the interface because it was it was a little, it, it wasn't trivial how it was actually controlled. Wired it over to the embed with my, I had a custom shield from another project with a Wi-Fi module. Um, the Wi-Fi has, a, emulates like a little access point. And then I, on the PC, I have a command line terminal as well as a little control surface to teleoperate the thing. So the thing is a fun thing, but it's also an experiment in uh, uh, web controlled and uh, IP controlled robotics. All right, all right, so, so tell us the story. You were almost there. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I ran into some problems with, uh, with debugging as part of learning embed. Well, first off, I'm a bit frustrated that Team Cat got to uh, got to the first place, you know. I think the dog is too. I, I, well, I, I was representing Team Dog, so. Um, uh, what was the question again? <laughs> Tell me about your project. <laughs> okay, uh, so that's He's something. He's boiling I'm... over with frustration. He can't yeah. even remember the question. No, I can't. The way we know that your cat wants to come in is because it puts its paw on our capacitive sensor. Um, we're actually quite proud of the capacitive sensor because uh, the K64 doesn't have a capacitive sensor peripheral, so we used an RC decay circuit to detect that uh, that you're basically introduce a capacitance to ground with your body. Um, once you get that, we end up sending a message to a chat service uh, and, and lets the phone know, the iPhone know, that the cat wants to come in. Uh, based on that knowledge, you can either choose to tell the part to let the cat come in or just continue blocking it. Oh, um, okay. Once you let him come in, you can then block the door again so that raccoons don't come in and that sort of thing. So the idea was to get a uh, weighted bar, bars that are used for uh, physical therapy exercises, and I could mo now I can monitor the movements and I can send information to the physical therapist. So the physical therapist knows if the person is doing the correct exercise and so on. I think we spent a, about a day yeah, just uh, trying trying the SDA tool, trying the Sager, trying a different Sager, trying different JTAG ports, and finally got it working. So, yeah. Wow, and that's even with the assistance of the Sager guys who are actually here yeah. at FTF. Like, right? yeah, 50 yeah. feet away. <laughs> Explain to me again the thing-based station. So the thing station here, uh, we have the K64 uh, uh, communicating the internet via Wi-Fi. Um, through some tricky I.O. and some uh, hacked together circuitry, 
to talk to the thing transmitter. So that was the probably the most tricky part is trying to figure out what this unmarked chip is and how can I play with it because uh, it, it wasn't apparent when I first looked at it. So um, we get uh, commands over Wi-Fi. Uh, the K64 talks to the transmitter. Transmitter goes over IR to the hand. Yeah, so, so this was definitely the audience favorite in terms of <laughs> well, yeah, you got to have fun, you know, yeah, so. Yeah, but if, and I truly feel that I 100% met the requirements of the challenge. I brought internet and thing together. That was you know, fantastic. There, there, there's nothing else. <laughs> Outside of that, there's nothing else. So, um, and at the end of the day, you know, being on Hackaday, that is being number one. So. Awesome.